um, and that he was returning. I don't know if he's left already, but was planning on going back to Libya, and um, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Amur Rashid. Amur Rashid, yeah, Rashid. Are you familiar with him? Yeah, Rashid, yes. And, yes. and he, uh, he was quoted talking about how he wanted to go back to Libya and he wanted to educate people about democracy. Mm -hmm. Do you think that you know all these brilliant people who have left Libya so that they can have the freedom that other governments such as the United States allow them? Do you think that that a lot of people will go back to Libya now, now that these changes, these huge changes, are being made? I mean, because so much of it just comes from the Libyan people and should come from the Libyan people and deciding that the future is for themselves. Anybody who was born in Libya, considered anybody who was born in Libya is a Libyan. I'm still concerned with Libya because I have dual citizenship. I said I have the Libyan passport, and I still, I still, my daughter she has a, an American. She's born here, right? She, she's the opposite side of me. Mm -hmm. What I mean by the opposite side of me, because I was born in Libya, and I became a citizen here. Mm -hmm. She was born here, and she got the Libyan citizenship because of my birth. Mm -hmm. See how opposite. I was born there mm -hmm. and became a citizen. She was born here and she became a citizen. A flip flop, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I ha I have the right to to do whatever I want in Libya, even business to own, to do property. You know, my dad was a businessman. He has a lot of property, but still back home. And and my cousin's still there. My mom is still there. My sister's still there in Libya. She, my two sisters are married and. She married to that gentleman right there. See the the uh, I'll show you. This gentleman right here, he's mm -hmm. a colonel, and his this is his brother. The, he, this is in the air force, and this is in the navy. See, this is the Gaddafi's flag, green. This is our real, real, real flag. This is the original flag right there. Mm -hmm. That was now. In every part of Libya is raised that flag yeah. instead of that. that. This flag, this green flag, this flag now was done away with. It's no longer is an official flag of Libya. It's not an official. The green flag is no, no, no official flag. After they toppled Gaddafi, it's no more flag. That's it, done. He did away with this flag and now the Libyans did away with his flag. What comes around goes around. Whatever you do wrong to somebody, it comes back to you. Mm -hmm. This is the rule of uh, 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 karma. karma. Yeah, yeah karma. It's karma. Mm -hmm. It's a common sense. I, 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 nobody can explain it. You know, it's, it's very self-explanatory. Mm -hmm. You know, Gaddafi did harm to them, and now they did harm to him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> as simple as that. I mean, did the United States invade Libya and topple them? No. United States did not even participate in, the, in, in, in NATO. Mm -hmm. Let the NATO do the, does the work. Why? You, you NATO did the work over there to protect the Libyans. Because Gaddafi decided when my hometown uprised, he decided to wipe it out out from the fish floor. And he sent his military to do it. The first nation that protected the civilians of my hometown is France. French. The French people. They sent planes, they bombed them. They stopped them. If they, they did not do that, he would have he would have done, done a big damage. Why he wants to do that? Because he wants to, to kill the revolution from spreading all over. But he didn't. The will of the people moved on. They went to his camp, military camps. They opened it up. They stole the weapons. They used the weapons that he bought from Russia and from the Soviet Union, from the Soviet Union back then. And that knows from where else, Koreans or whatever, and then they used to be against him. And they start moving, 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 until they liberated Sobrat, uh, 
The Salata was bombed, tilted because it was close to him. If you go to Misrata, you say, oh my God, it's a ghost town. succeed. Why? He did not succeed because whatever you do wrong goes wrong back to you. You don't lie. You don't lie. Why why should he lie to the to he lied to the Americans and the Western he said, or well, those who are uprising now and doing all of this and who stole the 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 arms from us, they are nothing but Al Qaeda. They are fanatics. Of course, there are some fanatics anywhere, and in, even in this country, there is a fanatics here in this country. Why not? You know, we we'll go back to our uh, uh, in Michigan. Remember Michigan when uh, they uh, somebody bombed the uh, family uh, federal building? In, was it in Michigan? Or what? Yeah. Um, Oh, Nebraska. I can't remember. No. But he was a fanatic. No. The guy who tried to assassinate our president and killed him. No. You know, uh, shot. He's crazy to come into. But there are some fanatics uh, loose. The, the guys who bombed our twin building in, uh, the, in uh, September 11th. There are fanatics too. There are some fanatics anywhere. But he accused the, the, those guys, the young guys, who stole the weapons from, from his, his camps to top of them, are fanatics and drugs and all those things. So he needed to do away with them. And he called the Western saying, these are Al-Qaeda, those are guys, you need to, uh, I need your help, so I can, because he, wa he, he wants to uh, propagate to, to the Americans and to the Westerns that those guys uh, they're bad people. Mm -hmm. And if they come and take over, then you guys be in big trouble. Bigger trouble than when I was in here. So I'm, 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 I'm better off than them. If you protect me, then you're not going to have those ruling people in, your, in, 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 in Libya. And Libya would be safe, I would be okay. Mm -hmm. Since I agreed, I came out of that. Call, I give you up. I give up my mass destruction. I give up this, and I'm not give, I'm, I'm not engaging in a terrorist act again. I'm not supporting any freedom fighters. I'm, 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 I'm whatever the list is. Mm -hmm. But America knows that he's lying. He's nothing but a lie. Now, the good thing about America and the European is to understand the Libyan culture understand the mentality of the Europeans, where they want to go, how they want to establish their nation. Now it's the turn of the European people, the civilized world, to move on to help Libya re-establish its country, to send them people, intelligent people, to help the Libyans, help the Libyans outside the country to go back to their, to their home, homeland and help their fellow Libyans to help the Libyans, educated Libya in, inside Libya. Ironically, I'll tell you something. I'll tell you why Libya would have a good chance of succeeding, succeeding in establishing the rule of law. Okay. A lot of people, they say democracy, 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 democracy. But democracy, as, as, as I say, is not just a, it's just a mean to operate your, your society, right? Yeah. But the thing, Libyans are the first people. Libya sent 45 people to Tunisia last week, remember, when they had the first election? Libya sent 45 people to supervise their, their, uh, their uh, elections.
election. That was the first free election was held in Tunisia. 45 people went from Libya. One of them, he was my close relative, was well, married to my cousin. He graduated from here. Zahi al Mughaybi. Zahi, he's an educated person, political science, PhD political science, graduate, graduate, graduate student uh, from UMC. Intelligent person, smart person. He lived in Libya. He didn't stay in Libya. He left. He graduated, and he is. He, he wasn't like me. Uh, st uh, decided to decided to go back and and, and stay uh, in, in, in his in his hometown Benghazi with his family. Of course, he has a brother outside the country. Everybody has a relative outside the country. Everybody has a relative who doesn't want to go back and live under the dictatorial regime in Libya. But Mr. Zahir ibn Ghaybi decided to go back to, live to his country. That's his going land. And he was sent to, uh, to Tunisia to supervise the election, the free election, so there would be no fraud. So what, what does this mean to us? It means that Libya is moving and sending not only uh, it needs time for it to go get back on its feet. It, it needs go, it needs time, and and sending people to Tunisia that is a good sign. I think it's a good sign. You know, they, they didn't send people from uh, another country. They sent it from Libya, it's close to close to Libya, which is a good a good a good indication. Did I answer your question? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. So, this is a, I just thought of it right now because I was talking to my cousin mm -hmm. uh, in Benghazi and he told me, I said, where is uh, Zay, Mr. Zay with my baby? He said, he's not here. Yeah. He went to, to Tunisia to supervise the election. And I know from who, where Zay he went to school to mm -hmm. and how he graduated. And he was a, uh, he's a, was a big professor in the Libyan University. And we have a good professor in Libyan University. And we have a good university in Libya. We have two universities in Libya. And they still, they lived there under the dictatorial regime. They didn't believe it in the dictatorial regime. But what they can do, that's their system. That's a, that's a, 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 a powerful grip, you know, of Gaddafi's regime. Either you do it or you get sent to jail, disappear from, from life. <laughs> But I tell you something else. Mm -hmm. A lot of people left from England and went back to Libya to visit. Some of them they are going back permanently, and some of them going back, and because they have obligation overseas. Like me, for instance, I can't close my house and close my business and just run away right now. Mm -hmm. No, I just can't do that. This uh, uh, would be a, uh, it would be a uh, unwise decision. Just close my store, close my house, go leave. Uh, have a good daughter. She goes to a new here, mm -hmm. and my son goes to Rockbridge High. And uh, I have an obligation here. I'm a citizen too here, so it's not wise for me to do it just like that. I would have done it if I was student and I graduated and I, I had a job. I could quit my job and get my job of, in, back in Libya. It's hard. It's easy. Mm -hmm. But for a businessman, you know, it's very, for very hard, you know, to do to do to do it. You know. Very hard to do. I might do it gradually over the years before I <laughs> send my business to somebody else. 